drop in temperature. Bias is 4.74 volts. Amplitude, I believe, is around 8. I'll have to check the amplitude when we do the inside scoping on this. Okay, I want to show you if I move the, the mark space, I can increase current to just about 6. Um, the temperature will go to about 135. That's the, uh, the uh, damp fast diode current there. And I want to get to one, maybe I'll get to 130, I don't know. But this is pretty good, okay? So just wanted to uh, clue that one in there. Bias is around, uh, I think it was 7 volts or 8 volts or something like that. All right. So the frequency uh, for that test was 15,095 cycles. 95 cycles. And this is the the scope reading okay and this is the the circuit okay we're going to be changing the electrolyte here in this uh, setup so this is the the starting uh, settings for uh, I had for the um, lie, and this is the the uh, damn fast diode thing. It's quite interesting that the damn fast diode. Whoops! We gotta get get the, get the fan running there. Or get hot. But anyway, it's doing real well, and uh, so we'll. Uh, drain this and then we'll, we'll, we'll just start adding uh, the uh, potassium and see if it comes up between 5.9 5.8 okay this was the first test with the uh, potassium uh, actually I filled the container up uh, 7 8 to the top of the, the inner wall and I ended up putting the whole entire bottle in there okay and uh, it's obvious that we need more uh, but this is the most efficient uh, rating here which is almost uh, in close to three times this is the highest I've ever seen uh, we're drawing eight tenths of an amp cells doing two amps the voltage is 3.38 and that's the uh, reading on the uh, damn fast diode now what's interesting is if you pull the damn fast diode out there's zero production unless you readjust the circuit for different frequency and different mark space. So I think now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, shut down and go in and let's take a look at uh, where we are efficiency rating goes. There's no heat being generated whatsoever so we're coming to the end of the tape anyway. So okay uh, yes I, I talked about if we take the damn fast diode out that all the parameters in the oscillator have to be changed. So that's it we're going to check the frequency see what we got. Okay, using the sodium hydroxide of the entire bottle, uh, found that the most efficient frequency is 15,350 cycles. Uh, this is the waveform. Okay, and uh, I'll have to check what the bias was. Okay, today I have made a change in the circuit. I have added um, a a bias control and capacitor coupled uh, from the uh, 556 and uh, you can take a look here um, so the damn fast diode uh, measurement is let's see here wait it's hard to say okay it's 1.21 amps and we're still using the same weak uh, solution uh, drawing one point, uh, let's say six five, one point seven amps. The uh, the uh, cell is drawing four point two three amps at four point four point two three volts. Okay, so the thing is, as we add more concentrate of electrolyte, in this case, this, is, this has got I think he says potassium um, nitrate. I think it was. Uh, 
your voltage will drop down across the cell to where we want it to be in the three volt range and your current's going to increase. Okay, we're going to look at voltage at the gate with this new setup. So this is the voltage at the gate of the MOSFET is, hold steady here, 3.54, come on, 3.5, 3.54 and input to the gate circuit is 4.48. That's input, that's right here. The input of the gate, we're getting 4.48. So if we zoom in here, I've changed the voltage divider resistor to 12K to ground and in series to the MOSFET gate is uh, 3.1K handmade resistor. So uh, that's it for this test next thing we'll be adding is a level control this the settings you see here are the maximum efficiencies uh, and we'll, I, I imagine this frequency is up in the 10 the, to 15 K we'll be checking that next okay the frequency on that test we just looked at is 11,630 cycles uh, if you notice on the scope uh, it's rounded off that's the demo, that's the load of the, uh, the software uh, and if I take off the uh, the clip here for the the software scope, you see that everything's a uh, real uh, thing. So that's not doesn't have to be really taken care of as far as uh, uh, the MOSFET's concerned because it's it's 12k to ground uh, and it's not rolling it off. But uh, that roll off comes because we've added the capacitor to the circuit, but works fine as far as a real. After many hours of operation, uh, the coil finally failed. You can see here um, how hot it got on both ends. Uh, I was cooling it, but I didn't have a duct to do it all. And let's see here, you can see uh, insulation has come off. Uh, there's a, a shorted area right there. Okay, I have very little time here. This is with the small coil being added in. This is the uh, current from the uh, damn fast diode. And let's see if we can get a measurement before this thing dies. This is going to be our bias on the, uh, on the MOSFET. So anyway, with the smaller coil, we do get the rasping at the, at the points here. And the, the frequency reads out at 11 uh, kilohertz. So that's pretty much uh, standard. This is the circuit down here, um, the bias.